win. Win. Hey, this is Doug from Rusted Wrench Garage. As you can see, today we're working on this old golf cart so we can take it to the racetrack because uh, my wife and them, they're tired of walking back and forth to the line. So what I did is I picked up this old golf cart off a friend of mine. He said it didn't run because the batteries were bad. And the batteries for it, it's 36 volt, cost around six, seven, eight hundred dollars somewhere in there. So what we did is we bought three boat batteries and stuck in here. Then we hooked them in series. You can see we got the positive, negative, positive, negative, positive in there. We got the positive two through the negative here, and the negative to the positive here. And we hooked them in series. I'm talking fast because it's starting to rain outside and we want to take this for a ride. So we're going to see what this thing will do with both batteries. So what it is, is I bought these boat batteries from Walmart. They were $79 a piece, which is quite a big savings. And we're going to see what that did. Now, not to lie to you, I did this last year and we could ride this thing around for about two hours and it still had charge. So we've never had to run it all the way down, but it gave up. So I had to replace the battery. So we're going to try it today, but today you get to go with us. And we're going to see just exactly how fast this thing will run. We'll put this here. we got a speedometer right here, if you can see that. Right now I'm going 25 miles an hour. That don't seem right, does it? So let's see what happens when we start moving. It's telling you the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. Oh, so it's not going to tell me how fast we're going? I don't know. We're about to find out. Okay. If not, they're going to see it. we got to go quick because it's, uh, it's starting to rain, boys. Okay, there, there it is, the speedometer. We're going zero. Okay, well, let's... let's get out here on the street. I'll try to hold this here. This is good for electrical equipment in the rain. Mm -hmm. Don't try this at home. We're professionals. We're going five, five, six. We're up to six, seven, eight, nine. We're going nine miles an hour. Ten. Can we hit 15? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, so we're running 10 miles an hour in the rain don't look like it's going to get over 10. i don't know that's pretty fast for a golf cart isn't it well yeah all right let's go back this way and see what we get <laughs> rain we can get her up to 15. we're going against the wind now at six we're getting wet seven eight nine nine ten eleven eleven twelve come on come on 13 come on 13. I don't think we're going to get 13. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. So we're still out. We're riding around in the rain like a bunch of idiots. I don't know if you can see the rain. But trust me, it's raining. So we're going to go around the block one time. It's still running. Still going. It's going nine miles an hour. Yeah. Do you guys know any way to pipe this thing up? I mean, with the truck putting 16 volt batteries, 16 volt batteries in it. See what happens. The good thing it's fixing the storm and it's raining and it's windy, so there's no traffic out. That's to our advantage. Because uh, I don't know if we can outrun the police. <laughs> try. I want to tell them I was kidding. That's with two people in there. We're going. That, we're going to be going that fast with two people in there. We're going to blow through the stop sign. All right, we just did. All right, how fast are we going? Ten miles. Ten miles. <laughs> We're gonna pick it up here in a minute. Okay, going up the hill, it kind of slows up a little bit. She's she's lugging a little bit, but hey, for a free golf cart, just have to pay for free batteries. I'd say that's not a bad idea. Bad deal. We need to put an amp gauge in it, though. My amp gauge burn out for some reason. They don't like getting wet. So uh, that's not working. So we can't show you that. And uh, we don't have turn signals, no headlights. It's a golf cart, for goodness sakes. We don't need that stuff. All right, we're going to turn around, head back the other way, and see how fast we can get this thing going. It's got a little bit of a downhill slope, so uh, try not to be scared. You got it, dude. We can beat it. Here we go. I see headlights. Where are we at? Seven miles. Seven. Going up to eight. Eight. We're at nine. Nine. Twelve. Twelve. We're trying for thirteen. Fifteen. We're trying for fifteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Come on. Fifteen. Fifteen. Show them. 
15. I don't know if they can see it. I can't see the camera. Can you see it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, we're at 17. She's breaking up. 16. We're, 17. we're going. We're slowing down. Back to 15. We got up to 17 miles an hour. 17 miles an hour. <laughs> Still going. We got cars coming. <laughs> okay, well, and we can even go off road. Watch the creek. Can they hear me? Okay, we're going to see if we can get this thing to spin the tires. Are you ready? Yeah. We're having too much fun with this. <laughs> if we put black marks in the grass, tore up the grass, we could use this as a mower. All right, should we put it up before we tear something up? Later? One more burn out. Do a donut. Oh, we're going into the creek. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It ain't got a sharp turning radius. And we got up to 17 miles an hour. I'd say that's pretty good, wouldn't you? All right, mm -hmm. that's Doug with Rusted Wrench Garage. That was today's project. We're gonna go ahead and get in and out of the rain because we got better sense than that. Please like this video and subscribe. <laughs>